Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day, depending from where you're watching us from. My name is Helen Wangoi Mathu and a child of God and a person who is so delighted to always have the opportunity to come to your screen and share the word of God and inspire one another, learn and unlearn and just uh, uh, push and call out uh, each one of us to become the best version of who created, uh, who, who God created us to be. And therefore, welcome again for another episode of the Bora Generation Show. <laughs> and with me is none other than my, oh, I love this woman. She's my mama and I love her so much. A woman that journeys with me, a woman that prays for me, a woman that prays with me, a woman that gives me counsel to many things in this life. A woman that has worked with me in this program from the first day that we went on air. None other but Pastor Miriam Kangangi. Mm -hmm. Karibu sana, ma'am. Thank you. It's it's a great pleasure. You're looking so lovely. Mm. Mm. Adorned in the colors of the time. But yes, you look so lovely. Mm -hmm. So lovely, so lovely. It's always a delight to have you in this show. Yeah. And therefore, it's such a refreshing time. Every other time that we, we look, we get into a new series. And it's about that time that we are getting into a new series. We have been looking at some characters. We looked at Ruth. We have journeyed with Naomi. And today we want to start on a series to look at an incredible woman. A woman whose uh, portrait or whose character or the way she's been portrayed uh, is not in the very best of light because uh, this woman, number one, was a slave. Uh, this woman was used as an incubator uh, for a couple so that they can bear a child for them when they felt or they saw they, are, they were not able to give birth to children. Therefore, we're going to look at this woman in depth and I know you're already suspecting who this woman is. And this woman is none other than Hagar. We all know the story of Hagar. Hagar was an Egyptian uh, maid. It, she was a slave uh, who was a maid to Sarah, the wife of Abraham. And we know the story that after many years of not bearing Abraham a son, Sarah uh, recommended that uh, Abraham takes Haggai and uh, so that Haggai would bear them a child. And we know how that story went, but uh, I don't want to preempt so much, but I want us to study this woman, to look at every aspect of what she went through, of, of the kind of life she was put through, the kind, the decision that Sarah made what that translated to even uh, in the days to come in the in the in the in the uh, uh, after years we're going to see different dynamics of what the lessons that we can learn from this woman and I just want us to uh, mama mm -hmm. I sometimes love the way you dissect this thing it's like, the Holy Spirit yes so, it's not us it's we shall receive power when Amen. the Holy Spirit has Amen. come upon us. Amen. We shall be witnesses. Amen. We are just witnessing to what we have received. Yes. We have nothing of our own. We are vessels, we are vessels that are emptied to be filled every other time. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So Hagar. As you preempted, Hagar is um, a Hebrew name. Mm -hmm for somebody who is on flight or forsaken. The portrait of Hagar will be representing uh, slaves, mm -hmm. servants, mm -hmm. 
house, house, what we call them. We used to, our time when we raised children, we used to say house girls. Mm. Now we call them house managers. managers. Mm. And we'll also capture women that have been misused or abused even sexually mm. and not given their rights. Mm. You know, like people who found themselves captured and brought into something maybe they were not even psychologically prepared mm. for. Like now you see how the Bible puts it, that Sarah and Abraham <clears throat> had no child. Mm -hmm. And so Sarah looking at her situation mm. and realizing that she's over menopause mm. and then she will not be able to bring forth this child of promise. Mm. She tried to help God yes. by picking somebody <gasps> up and bringing her in mm -hmm. to something that God had not said. Mm. And so it's like abuse. Yes. Plan B, mm -hmm. like we normally like to call it in yes. our country. Yes. So they brought in Plan B. Mm. And uh, after she, this girl has conceived, she felt so good. Mm. And then she started jeering or laughing at or mm. snobbing at mm -hmm. her mistress. And then the mistress felt like, oh, is this how things were going to turn out? Mm. And you remember she had to be mistreated until she, she had to fly. Mm. She had to be on flight mm. because she felt, oh, this is not bearable. Mm -hmm. One of the things I want us to look at closely is mm -hmm. that Haga is from Egypt. Egypt is um, a Greek name. Uh, something, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's something like Egyptos. Mm. And then uh, what we call Mizraim, mm -hmm. coming from the lineage of Noah mm -hmm. after the flood. Because yes. you need to remember that when God said to Noah, build the ark, mm. then told him, you and your family get into the ark. And also told him, pick every animal two mm. the animals of went the kind, in yes, yes. two by two mm. you remember and was told to put in enough stuff yes. to feed for the animals <laughs> and for the family mm. and then after the flood it's like god now brought noah back to come and bring forth generations, generations yes and so we have um, one of the sons the three sons of noah <gasps> jeff japheth hashem Eshem. and ham, ham. And from Ham, you will remember what happened. Mm. We have Mizraim, we have Cush, and we have Canaan. Yes. And at some point, you will remember what happened after the flood. <gasps> after staying indoors too long, mm. then they come out and they, 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 there were some climatical effects. Yeah. And they went back to, to their farming activities. And mm. one day, Noah grew grapes. And then he squeezed mm. some juice after having been indoors too long. You know, when he took the juice, he went he went sack. Yes. He got over drunk. <laughs> yes. He, I think he enjoyed and then before he realized, he was all over everywhere. And the Bible says that um, Ham saw his nakedness. Yes. And instead of covering him, he went running to tell his brothers yes, yes. who came holding a cloth and mm. looking backward and to cover laid shame, yeah. it on the father. Mm. And you remember a curse was pronounced on the son of Ham. Yes. Ham wasn't cursed. Mm. Uh, Bible researchers say that uh, Ham was black in color. Mm. In fact, Ham means black or black. burnt. Yes, yes. Something that has been exposed to mm. burning until it has turned its color to black, mm. like smoked. Mm. And so... There is this big story about the cursing, you know, what yes, we call yes, in our yes, language, in our la 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 mm. Mm -hmm. and uh, the cursing was placed on the sun, who is mm. Canaan. Yes. If you follow closely, you'll see what happened, became of Canaan later, mm. when God said to Israel, he's going to the descendants of Abraham, Abraham. Mm. I am going to give the land of Canaan. Canaan to you, to mm, them, mm. which meant that if they're going to get that land, then those descendants of Ham mm. must be cleared to make way to, for the descendants of Abraham. Abraham. 
without delving much into that, I wanted us to create a picture mm -hmm. where people understand mm -hmm. when we talk of Hagar, mm. the heart made of Sarah, who mm. was an Egyptian, mm. to see where Hagar is coming from. Yes. That background foundational information mm. is of essence Very. so that somebody will be able to, even if they want to go back and read their Bible, mm -hmm. that at least the picture is well well painted. Mm. That photo is well taken. Abisa. And so Haga, as mm. we say it, means flight, mm. means forsaken. Mm. Someone who has come for good. Mm. And it looks like this girl, you remember this story of Abraham and Sarah mm. at some point going down to Egypt because of farming. Yes. We have just come from dealing with Ruth yes. and Naomi mm. and realizing what caused Naomi to leave mm. Bethel. The, yeah. To, 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 to leave the house of Judah. Of Judah Bethlehem, yes. Judah, mm. rather not Bethel. Mm. And going down to Moab, Moab. to have lunch. Mm -hmm. Then lunch ended in death. Then lunch ended in mourning mm. and then and loss and, and a pain. lot of loss mm. and grief mm. and then coming back at least there was recovery yes now i tend to think and agree with some bible scholars mm -hmm. that remember that time abraham and his wife went down to egypt yes. israel yes because it's like um israel being surrounded by the red sea yes being surrounded by the nile the blue and the yeah, white, the Nile, white as they Nile, call yes, them. Yes. There was plenty of water. Mm. The land must have been good Fertile. for production. Yes. So there always was food. Mm. And so they go down there to look for food. Mm. And when they get in there, every beautiful woman was the king's wife. Yes. And so when the people around the king, mm. you know, like the people around our president, mm. so the wife of um, of, of, Sarah. Ab of of Abraham. Oh, sorry, they, yeah, they when they saw Sarah. They come and say, man, there yeah. is a guy who's mm. come here and has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wife. And so she was taken in mm. to be king's wife. Mm. And, and the if, Abraham said, hey, let me not die for your mm -mm. sake. Mm -mm. Please, you are my sister from my now sister. on. <laughs> yeah, you're my sister. <laughs> yes. You're my sister. You're my sister. <laughs> yeah, so Please. let's do it. That, let's play our cards <laughs> yes, that way. Yes. And they had drama mm. and wanted to salvage his life. Yes. And I think by the time the Bible records what happened, it was like there was plague in Egypt. Yeah, and yeah. There was... There was so much loss mm. until the king sent for Abraham and said, why did you lie to me? Mm -hmm. And he was given a lot of goods. Yes. Maybe at that point he was also given this maiden servant. Maiden servant. Mm. The Muslims believe that Hagar was the daughter of the king of mm. Egypt. And so in the process of gifting Abraham, this she girl was, was given as a, a gift. gift. Always like, oh, we don't want this trouble. Mm. Let's end it here. Mm. I will even give you my mm. daughter. And so Hagar comes and finds herself with, with, with Sarai. I want to think just like there was Eliezer of Damascus mm. on the other side, yes. who was the board servant of Abraham. Mm -hmm. It's like this girl was the, the senior, the manager at the management level of if if Sarah had other had maids because mm. you know this guy was damn Very rich, rich and they had a lot of servants working around them mm. so i almost want to think that Hagar was not just any other mm. she was like the diary keeper she was like the one who was telling madam today we are expecting three visitors yes. or she's the one who would be at the door watching and telling Sarah everything that needs she to must be. have been because yeah. for Sarah to even be comfortable enough mm -hmm. to select her mm -hmm. to be the incubator, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she must have uh, had her trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she must have been one of the top uh, servants that yeah. she felt she could trust for mm -hmm. for for her to do this yeah. task for her. Yeah, and so we think she was in another mean servant mm. who did not know the language of the mistress. Yes. Yeah, she may have been used severely to to organize protocol, mm. even when guests came around. Mm. She might be the one who was told write down the shopping list. 
Yes. She could be the one who would answer calls on behalf. Mm. You know, Abraham and Sarai were not just simple people. Mm. Because like if you go back to Genesis 14, yes. you remember that the Bible talks of 300 and is it 14 or 18 servants yes. that Abraham had raised in his house mm. and trained. Imagine that's a whole school. Very. And these people are living with him. Mm. So, and the Bible says he was rich. Mm. He had gold, he had silver, he had servants. Mm. And so you can imagine it was a real thing. It mm. was a real place. It was a real industry. Allow mm. me to call it that mm. way. That needed like lead people. Lead, mm. lead people. Mm. And I'm looking at Eliaza on this side. Mm. And I'm looking on the other side mm. at, at Haga. Mm. The main players. And so as you're saying, she must have been a darling to Sarai. Yeah. So that Sarai can say, you can have her as second wife. Mm. I have watched her. I have checked her. Mm. You know, African traditionally is known for having men having to, if they needed to get another wife, the first wife was normally the one who said, marry this or yes, marry the yes. other one. And uh, I think it's like the Hebrew or the Jewish culture mm. and the African culture borrowed right. so much from one from another. One another. Mm. And also you consider that Egypt is Africa. Yes. It's the northern part of Africa. Mm. Yeah, and uh, so there is a lot of relation between the, this chosen generation of God mm. and Egypt. Yes. You remember even later on Jacob himself, mm. the grandson of Abraham mm. is still going to bring his family down to Egypt yes. for lack of food, food. in Canaan. Mm -hmm. It's like this land that was cast was really hard mm. to go by. To go by, yeah. Because like somebody did not bring an offering to the priest <laughs> to remove the cast <laughs> of ham or, or the cast that was put on Canaan. Yes. Maybe they did not come with the first fruit mm. or they did not come with whatever the gift to the man of mm. God, to have the land yes. prayed for. Yes. And the Hagar mm. is a descendant mm. of Egypt, mm -hmm. Mizraim. Mm. And uh, she is now a senior servant of Sarah and his, her husband, Abraham. Mm -hmm. And considering her position, mm. They must have lived a good while. Mm. Maybe you, you don't know on light moments if 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 Sarah and Abraham would sit and discuss their workers. Yes. And they would say, maybe this one needs a promotion. Yeah. This one looks good. Yeah. You know, Eliasa can be trusted. Mm. This other one mm. has issues. Yes. Or maybe if some of them even had families, mm. they would be discussing. You saw the wife of so-and-so. Mm. She is now pregnant again. You know, those kind of the, the communications that normally a husband and mm. wife. Mm. Maybe she would be used to serve. <gasps> And when she's walking and then Abraham would be looking at her and Sarah is saying, hey, and why are you looking at her <laughs> like this? And then maybe they were, they were like, oh, 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 okay, she's mm, not bad. Mm -hmm. Until even Abraham should have said, oh, why are you giving her to me? Mm -hmm. Do you see like there is a place the Bible tells us, oh, he said, no, this mm. one is not good for me. Mm. He just picked her. Mm. Before, it's like he was waiting, it's like, when oh, will you ever uh, propose, give me permission? Propose. <laughs> and uh, so sometimes women find themselves there. Mm. You know, these issues of house helps overthrowing wives, mm. they are so common. Apart from these days, I'm not sure. It's because I think we've gone the social media way. Yeah. It's like that has covered some details that we used to talk physically yes. about issues of house helps, mm. uh, managing homes, and then before the mistress understands what is happening, mm. she's being told, this is my, greet, meet my new wife. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. get that? Mm -hmm. I think um, Sarai, being the mistress, didn't think these things would turn this way. And you know, Hagar was a young girl, and this woman had grown old. Mm. I do not want to really get into something here. Mm. 
But I think the joy that Hagar brought to Abraham. Oh, yes. Oh, my, the warmth. Mm. Like the one when, when David, king of oh, Israel, yes, was yes, old. Yes. And they went and said, man, Let this guy is not feeling warm even when we put ten blankets on, on him. him. When, when we switch on all the heaters mm. in the room. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yes. He's just not catching mm, up with warm yeah so let's get him a young girl to just come and stay around mm, mm. but we know for david the bible says he did not know her and so for 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 abraham having had such a nice experience mm -hmm. as i'm trying to imagine mm -hmm. i think the song changed how do you expect he must have been um, appetized enough yeah, maybe to even yeah, tell Sarah, yeah. you stay there. Yeah. Uh, the way we love to say yes, in our language. Yes, yes. Stay aside. Mm. Yeah, let me show you how life goes mm. on. Mm. And when she caught up and got pregnant, she felt like the whole world was open to her. And she started looking at the mistress like a second heart being. And she forgot the, the privilege that had been extended to her. To her by how the same. She, this was met mm. by her mistress mm. with arrogance, mm. with, oh, you can, I just allowed you some little benefits mm -hmm. and you're looking at me like a worthless thing. Yes, yes. And I'm sure she was mistreated and chased away by the actions. Mm. Maybe all the other girls in the house were told, let her do the work now. Mm. She can't just sit there and start telling us she's feeling like mm. vomiting. Mm. Oh, she cannot eat uh, bread and um, milk. She only wants kumawiki and soil. Now she has to, to, to measure up. Yeah. She has to stand up and be counted. Mm. And we see that she had to run away. Mm. And when she ran away, and the Bible says an angel of the Lord appeared to her mm. and asked her, why are you here? Yeah. Why are you running away mm. from your mistress? Mm. <laughs> and she's like, oh, the distress, oh, the disappointment, yeah. oh, the oppression, mm. oh, the abuse. Mm. I just don't know if I can bear it, mm. considering that I even am expecting a baby. Mm. And then she realized that God was seeing her. And she was told to go back and uh, be loyal to her to, mistress. Yeah. And so there are many times people who are serving other, uh, under others mm -hmm. find themselves in situations. They are used for the good of their masters and mistresses. Mm. And then when it has an, it gives them an opening, they want to step down on their masters. Yes. And that doesn't come out very well. Mm. So there is a, a story, there is a portrait that is being painted for us. We may be slaves, we may be servants, we may be employees of people. Mm. But when we get that appointment, to represent mm -hmm. our mistresses and our masters. Mm. And then everybody applauses us, you know, like the pregnancy yes, is an yes, applause. Yes, yes, yes. It's like an elevation. Mm. Like we go on behalf mm -hmm. of Wema TV yes. and then we get the kudos mm. and the thumbs up. Mm. We must remember who is this that is firing us mm -hmm. or um, we empower yes, us. Yes. Who is empowering us to go? Mm -hmm. This is the point that... Um, Haga in the first place missed. Mm -hmm. That was the only point that she missed. She needed to like be subject. Mm -hmm. And even if she has issues with the trimesters, she should just come and kneel before her mm -hmm. mistress mm -hmm. and they tell her this thing, the incubator, mm -hmm. is not giving me peace mm -hmm. because I'm really having issues. Mm -hmm. So she is a portrait, first of all, mm -hmm. of us who get opportunities. Even in foreign places, yes. in places we did not deserve. Mm. And we are appointed to lead that when claps and applauses and standing ovations come, mm -hmm. we must return them where they belong. Mm. That's what I would say for mm. the beginning, mm. because I'm sure we shall have more discussion mm. uh, to build on this one. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that is so powerful. Uh, like my takeaway is that always remember to give back the glory, because in every space that we are in, 
in every opportunity that we find ourselves mm-hmm. in and we 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 excuse uh, uh, me terminology the place to shine mm-hmm. remember who has allowed you to shine yeah uh, be it at your workplace be mm-hmm. it in your business be mm-hmm. it in ministry be yeah. it wherever it is that you are in in serving as you are serving and you are receiving accolades you are receiving the applause you are receiving number one lesson that we can learn is always remember that it is your master that has given you the platform to shine mm-hmm. that is our number one lesson yeah. we are going to have more discussions on haga and we are going to look at now the the the, the different issues that haga uh, had in the experience after after that decision that sara made that you can be my co-wife for lack of a better word to bear as children mm-hmm. we're going to look at the pains that this woman went through we are going to look at the misuse you're going to look at the different things that we can relate with as a woman in any, whichever situation that you are in so that we can draw some very valuable lessons that we can embrace in life and we can be able to walk this life with a lot of wisdom Thank you so much for being our companion this night as you have been always such an amazing amazing people you have been giving us feedback you've been giving us uh, uh, your comments your thoughts may God richly bless you and may God prepare our hearts and our spirits and our mind to get the lessons that he needs us to get to get the understanding and the revelation that we need to get from this series that we are about to to go into thank you very much god bless you remember always to give back the glory to your master that has allowed you to shine thank you stay tuned till next time